So let's talk about Papa B stereo system. the channel you know sometimes i get a little sidetracked i know i talked about the system in the gladiator and running around getting ready for jeeping with judd um, i actually have a meeting with fwc and prodigy off-road club in just about two hours so i figure while we're getting ready i might as well show you guys the system so i've seen some questions on facebook uh some gladiator forums and stuff like that about how everyone is doing uh custom stereo systems utilizing the stock head unit now i have the alpine um the 8.4 inch touchscreen what we used is a i think it's by pack audio it's a, a reference module to pull a bass signal from the the head unit and it goes to the amplifier now with all the interior speakers, as far as in the dashboard up top of here and in here on both sides, we used, we went with uh, SCAR audio. So for the money, it is pretty good. It sounds really, really good. Um, more budget friendly than the higher brands like Alpine or JL or anything like that. So um, really happy with them. They sound really great. Now, as far as the sound bar, I went with uh, an American sound bar. Uh, it was either this one or DS18. This one was a little bit more budget friendly and it was a little bit more my style. DS18, otherwise a great sound bar, but uh, just a little bit too flashy for me. Um, and instead of, I know DS18 comes with their own speakers, um, American Soundboard does not, but I went with SCAR Audio 8. So we got four 8s and then two tweeters. So I know I've seen on the forums again, uh, people questioning where everyone is putting the amplifiers. So right on the driver's side behind the, uh, the rear seat, right on the wall, we have the 800 watt. This one is going powering the subwoofers. And beneath it, if you can see it right down there, we have a four channel powering the interior speakers. All right, now time for the subs. This is probably some of my favorite. Uh, I'm a bass guy. I know some people really don't like bass because you do get a little bit of uh, vibration noise uh, throughout the dashboard. And if you have loose change in the cup holders, you could hear it. But um, to me, I like getting a massage so we have the brp under seat sub box um i wasn't a fan of upward firing um just because i didn't want it i, I didn't think it was gonna be enough room beneath the seat i really wanted the downward facing that jl makes unfortunately they were severely back ordered and any distributors that we were trying to go through uh, refused to mail it to us over here um, saying that it's for their customers only so unfortunately I didn't have a choice but I'm happy with it uh, I, I really did uh, like I said I, I was nervous about the upward face upward firing but um, but I, I do really like it um, so we have the JLW 310s uh, the shallow mount just because we don't have too much room underneath the seat when the seats go down. Now, my installer, uh, John, um, from Amplified Audio down in Naples, Florida, he created these little mounts that he bolted on. Um, so when you lower the seat, the seat actually rests right on these mounts and it gives it just a little bit more 
uh, room for air to move. Now, uh, BRP says that's not needed. Um, however, um, I just trusted John and John really wanted to do it. So it works. It works really good. Uh, I'm really happy with the system. So overall, I'm really happy with uh, the way the sound system sounds. I'm really impressed with the, the sub uh, with the hard top and the small cab. Um, 800 watts is so almost overboard. Um, now, I know me and John, when we were designing it and going over, he was asking what I wanted and what I was looking for. Um, I told him what I was looking for, and when he came back with an 800 watt amplifier, I was kind of questioning it. I, I, I asked him that, you know, I really felt, I guess coming from old school, I really felt subs, especially two subs, I needed to get over that thousand watt um, uh, level, if you want to call it, or the roof. I just wanted to be above that. Um, he, he was strong, he uh, advised against it. He said, I absolutely would not need it. Um, talking to other customers that I know of his, um, they pretty much told me whatever he says, go with, don't question him. <laughs> it's in my nature to question. So um, I, 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 I went with him. I went with 800 watts uh, pumping the two JL10 W3s and, uh, and holy crap. Um, you know, so, some of my uh, ducks on the dashboard, they'll be jumping around depending on the song I'm playing. I see the windshield wipers uh, going up. So if you're looking for a system and you're getting the JLW3s as a similar setup, I'm telling you, 800 watt SCAR amp is is uh, is more than enough. Um, John did say uh, some other amplifier companies. Uh, he didn't tell me any brand names, um, but at, diff that are different than SCAR. Um, they say that they are rated for a certain wattage, but don't really pump out. Um, that wattage scar he said is on the money with how much if they say it's 800 it's pumping out 800 so uh, be careful about that you know do your own research talk to people see what's working for them and also j just because you install this stuff and all this it, it, it's really expensive so uh, once you install it make sure you have someone if you don't know make sure you have someone that knows how to tune tune the system itself um, John is an excellent job. I mean, I think he spent uh, uh, at least an hour or two just in adjusting the settings on a stock head unit. So imagine if you had uh, 16 different, you know, options for uh, in your equalizer as opposed to just tremble, mid, and bass. So with with the overpowering sound bar, um, obviously you see with the eight or the four eight-inch speakers and the two tweeters that. What it compared or paired with the four channel amp definitely will overpower the interior of the uh, of the Jeep, especially the Gladiator. So what we did, or actually what John did, so I'm not going to take credit for it. He actually has the fade and the balance up a little bit farther, so so it takes away some of the level or the power going to the sound bar. Now, since I go to shows, and I'm sure some of you have actually came and met me at shows, and um, probably before, if anyone's seen it at Jeep Beach, at Jeep Beach last year, uh, the system wasn't installed. So, uh, Jeep Beach this year, it will be. I don't know if I'm going to be on Vendor Row. I have to call, get in touch with Ronald Rack to see if we're going to do that, but that's, I digress. So, John set it up a little bit farther to the front, only maybe a click or two. Um, obviously you can see there, there. So I actually have it one click. Um, so you could go like just tap the front twice or I like it kind of just a little bit. Um, just, just one click above the center. And when I go to shows, I just dip it down. So the sound bar kind of takes most of the power where you could really jam out some sound and some volume, but driving around, I just have it a little bit forward. So the sound bar doesn't overpower me behind my head. So that's a little brief of uh, Papa Beast's sound system. Um, subscribe. We're going to do Mama Beast the next. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I will post John's information down in the description below. 
Um, and yeah, if you if you're at one of our events, come up, say what's up, and that you want to check out the system, definitely down to show it off. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you out on the trail.